This is so crazy. Some retail investor managed to win a trade against a big Wall Street hedge fund. It all happened on Wall Street bets. A subreddit for retail investor who want to discuss stock trading. You can make a lot of money if you follow Wall Street bets, but it's very time consuming to read all the posts. So in this video, we will build a Python script to do some sentiment analysis on Wall Street bets. And at the end, we will have a chat with bullish, bearish, and neutral recommendations, all based on the data from Wall Street Bets. So first, I'm going to show you the code of the script. So you will find the code in the GitHub repo of in the blocks. Just to be clear, I took most of the code from this repo. So thank you, Asad70, and I just added the requirements.txt so that we can more easily install all dependencies. So first we are going to go into data.py. So here we define all the stock ticker that we want to research. And the other important thing here is new words here. So this is a, a dictionary where the keys are words that are used to qualify a sentiment towards a stock and the value tell us how bullish it is. So for example, here Citron minus four means this is bearish. High here, this, this is bullish buy obviously this is bullish sell bearish etc we're going to use this dictionary for our sentiment analysis okay so let's go back to the root folder and after the main file is ready to sentiment analysis so let's open this so here let's see the main dependency so first we import pro which is a library to interact with reddit time this is a built-in library of python then we have matplotlib, so this is used to create our graphs. Then Scrarify, this is for one of our chart. And then NLTK, so this is a popular library for natural language processing in Python. And it's how we're going to do our sentiment analysis. So first here we connect to Reddit, so I will show you after how you can get the client ID and client secret. Then here we set some options. First we define find which subreddit we want to research then we are going to filter only certain posts that have this flare so the discussion we can discuss etc then after this is not super interesting then here is more important so upvote ratio so we want posts who have an upvote ratio of 0 0.7 so that we don't waste time on posts that were downvoted a lot then they also need to have a minimum number of upvote. Then after we also have a minimum upvote number for each comment in each post. Then here we define how many stock we want to pick. So in the original script, it was 100, but it was taking way too long on my machine to run. So I decreased this to 10. And then finally, how many stock we want to use for the sentiment analysis. So be aware that the sentiment analysis takes a lot of time. So if you increase this number, it's also going to take way longer. Okay, so after we are going to enter the main loop. So we are going to loop in each subreddit. So here we get an object that represents the subreddit. Then we get the 25 most popular posts here. Then for each post, we are going to iterate through each post. So here we are going to filter each post. We're going to make sure that it satisfies our requirements. So satisfy the, our upvote ratio requirement that it's uh, the right flare, etc. Then we create an array where we append the title of the post. And then for each comment of the post here, we are going to iterate. So here, if the comment has enough upvote, we are going to tokenize the body of the comment by using the split function. So on input, we're going to have some text and in output, this is going to be an array with all the words of the comment. Then we need to clean our array. So for each word here in our array, we are going to replace dollar by nothing because it's not a meaningful word. Then if the word is a ticker, we're going to enter this. Let's scroll down and here is important. So if we already have this ticker in our tickers dictionary here, we just increase the count for this ticker. 
and also in another dictionary here for this sticker we're going to add the body of the command to an array that is related to this sticker so this is going to be useful for the sentiment analysis and below if this is the first time that we see this sticker then we do a similar processing okay so then we're going to sort our tickers dictionary here according to the count in the reverse order so at the top we'll have the ticker that was seen the most time in the comment then the second most seen etc after here with top picks we're going to extract an array with just the ticker in the right order after here we're going to print some feedback to the user and tell how long it took to do the analysis and after here that's where we're going to print the top picks and after we're going to do the sentiment analysis so that's the most important so here we get this object that will allow us to do the analysis very important we update the lexicon with the new words that we define in detail.py so this will allow us to enrich our sentiment analysis so by default this library knows how to analyze some words but we help it to understand even better the vocabulary of our subreddit okay and after we're going to do our sentiment analysis here so for each symbol we are going to calculate the polarity score of the comment here so this is the natural language processing library in action here and it's going to give us an object with four key bearish bullish neutral and an average and for each key it's going to associate a value so this is really where the magic happened here okay so after here's not very interesting and here very important we are going to calculate the average of the scores for each symbol so that's where we aggregate the data here and finally we are going to print the results so here we are going to print the sentiment analysis so here we are going to print the top picks so here we are using the panda library and here we are going to configure the axis of the table we're going to show and after the data visualization so we're going to show the most mentioned picture so here and here this is actually the same info but just is presented in a different way here we're going to show a chart with area representing how many times a stock was mentioned and for that we use this library squarify as well as matplotlib and finally we're going to show the result for the sentiment analysis here so here we use a data frame from panda and at the very bottom it's cut on my screen but we still use matplotlib to show the sentiment analysis okay so we are going to run the script so i've downloaded the code of the script here so you can see all the files and first i'm going to create a virtual environment so of course you need to have python installed on your computer so virtual environments are used to isolate your project in Python to avoid to install dependencies globally. Okay, so now we have this new VM folder and second, we're going to activate this virtual environment like this. Okay, next we're going to install the dependency with pip, the package manager of Python, install recursive requirements.txt. All right, so after we are going to open the main file, Reddit sentiment analysis with your code editor. Okay, and here we're gonna need to fill in these two info, client ID and client secret for connecting to Reddit. So for that, you will need to create an account on Reddit and you go to this URL. That's how you get API access. And here I'm going to scroll down. And so you go to create application so you give it whatever name you want you select script and here they require that you have a redirect url i mean you can put whatever url you want it doesn't matter click on create app and then you will see your app here so the first thing here this is the client id so let's copy this and second 
you can see the secret here. So let's copy paste this too. All right, let's save this, quit the file. And after we are going to run the script. So Python, Reddit sentiment analysis, and it's going to take a while, several minutes or even five, 10 minutes. So be patient. Okay, so we have our result here. So the top 10 picks here, and then we have the sentiment analysis. And we also have this result in a chart. So first the top 10 pick, and when you close it, you will see the second window popping up for sentiment analysis. So for the top five pick, you can see the bearish, bullish, and neutral sentiment. Next step, once you have the recommendation of your script, you can decide if you want to take a position on the top stock picks or not. You can also rerun the script regularly and play around with the parameters. Next, I have another video where you build a trading board for Bitcoin. It's a nice little project, doesn't take too much time and it can make you some money. To watch it, you just have to click here. I'll see you there.